Hey guys, it's Dr. Drake 63 here, and uh, today we're going to try out a product I haven't used before, but comes highly recommended. It's anti-tarnish <clears throat> polish. It's called Flitz, and uh, it's known to be really good on revolvers and uh, specifically on blued revolvers and uh, restoring some of the luster. Now, from a distance, this uh, this Colt Trooper Mark III looks like it's in pretty good shape, but if you, if you zoom in, you're gonna see some spots that I'm thinking definitely need protection. I don't wanna re-blue this. You got some holster wear there on the barrel, and uh, if you look a little bit closer here, you'll see on the trigger, uh, on the frame above the trigger guard, on the uh, on the cylinder itself, just some areas that uh, <clears throat> I'll say are of concern. And if I go and get this gun reblued, it's just not going to be the same. But at the same point in time, I want to protect it. I'd hate to see some of these wear marks get worse. So we're going to use this product. Going to polish up this gun. Do a little bit of before and after for you. Expectations aren't that it's going to get rid of the fact that there's holster wear there, uh, but might bring out some of the luster where the bluing is good, uh, as well as uh, more than anything provides some protection, as this is a very nice sweet shooting gun, but it is 43 years old. So let's see how we do. I showed some videos uh, of this gun, some pictures in the intro video to this gun that uh, I posted yesterday. And as you can see, it's it's got some definite character to it. I guess we'll put it that way. And um, I'm not interested in setting this thing off and having it re-blued. Certainly not by some amateur and certainly not a home job. Uh, I looked a little bit into having Colt re -blue it. And you're looking at a $500 proposition and uh, really... Um, I'm not going to be putting this in a glass case anywhere. I have no plans on reselling it. So really, I want to, I want to use this as a shooter, but not have any of the, the tarnishing or uh, spots where some rust has started to crop up get any worse. So it's with that in mind that, uh, that I've uh, decided to use the flits as far as restoring areas where there is good bluing and protecting areas where there isn't. And... Uh, uh, from the research I've done and talking to guys that have used this product, it is a good product. Grips are original grips. These are in excellent shape. Um, I can tell also by looking at uh, the frame here that uh, there are some little spots where rust is creeping up. So we're going to address that with some CLP. And uh, you can also just tell where, where the grips covered the, the frame that uh, no care taken to wipe fingerprints off. So... Um, whoever has taken this down in the past uh, hasn't really cared too much about the finish. And uh, I just am interested, like I said, in protecting uh, this gun in the condition that it is in. It also kind of uh, suggests at some point we need to take the side plates off. You can see here you just need uh, a little dab on a cloth and you apply it. And uh, before it dries, uh, you're supposed to buff this out with a, a cloth or microfiber. And you can see from doing that, I'm picking up some rust, which means this stuff is doing its job. Take another look here now at the frame. You can see we've come back. Uh, and uh, you can especially tell where you saw those fingerprints. What a nice job this does of restoring the luster. Again, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any false hopes on this. It's not going to fix damage. Um, it's not going to uh, restore where the bluing is worn off due to holster wear and things of that nature. What it will do is uh, provide a, a protective coat and uh, give a little bit more shine. A little dancing pony there. So a lot of people pay a lot of money for that. I'm, uh, I'm ambivalent. How does the gun function? That's what I care about. And from that measure, uh, very pleased with uh, what we see with the 1975 Colt Trooper Mark III and 357 Magnum. And here you see um, the end result. Definitely more luster. It's bringing out some of the richness in the, in the bluing. It's not a, a royal blue like a Colt Python. Uh, no question about it. It's more of a workman's type of finish. But uh, you can definitely see when this guy was new, uh, probably very similar to the nice bluing jobs you'll see on a Smith & Wesson 
586, something of that nature. But uh, it looks a little bit better. Like I said, more importantly, we know that it's uh, protected. Uh, didn't show this prior, but there was quite a bit of rust in the back strap on those grooves, and I was able to get that out with the polish. And um, all in all, I'm happy with, uh, with what this Flitz does. Um, what it doesn't do is, is fix where bluing's worn off. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to address that. I'm just going to have to uh, live with this as it is, but that's okay. I'm okay having a firearm with character. Um, I've got plenty of marks and uh, blemishes on me. And uh, without a doubt, I have character. You can just ask anybody that knows me. They'll tell you that uh, I'm one of the biggest characters that they know. Now from a distance, this gun looks absolutely fantastic and shiny. And uh, I know where its flaws are. There's no question about it. But uh, very happy with the job that this uh, this Flitz product does. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And um, it's not the same as re-blowing. It's not going to restore a firearm that has nicks, scratches, dents, or anything like that. What it's going to do is provide a layer of protection so it doesn't get worse. So I'll have to go ahead and, for now, give two thumbs up for this. I'm going to try this product out on, uh, on a newer firearm that doesn't have as many challenges. But uh, easy to apply, easy to buff off, and uh, we like it. Thumbs up. This is DR Drake 63 saying thanks for watching.